why would you say that Rav Sajid Gaon um, speaks to us today in, in the 21st century? What is it about his writings that kind of grabs us today? Right. So that's a good question, um, because when you read it, it's not easy reading. You know, a lot of his is written in poetry. Um, a lot of his writing was in Arabic and then translated into, into Hebrew. Um, but part of it is the personality for those who know the personality, meaning not just his writings, but actually, you know, knowing his story. Um, and it comes through in some of his writings as well. Um, he has this very fiery character to him. And I think that that appeals. He's very no nonsense. Um, to a certain extent, there's sort of a trait that you see in him and you see in others in what would become the Spanish school. Um, you, you see it in Ibn Ezra, you see it in the Rambam. And it, it's a, it's a, you know, from a philosophical perspective, he's a strong rationalist. Um, and that comes through a lot in his, in his writing. One example, um, in the issue of Gilgul, Nef Gilgul Neshamos, the idea of reincarnation of the soul. He says, yeah, that's not ours. We don't, we don't believe in that. And of course the Zohar is very strong in it. Um, and, uh, and I'm not entering that dispute, but he says, there are those among those who call themselves Jews who believe that dot, 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 like this, you can hear the sarcasm in his, uh, in his writing. Um, and I think that that's strong, but also he was so dominant across so many fields. He's quoted on Halacha. He's quoted on Tanakh. He's quoted on, on, uh, on Gemara. He's quoted on philosophy. So he has so many students and people who follow him afterwards that you need to know about him.